Hello everyone, this is Marcia from One Scrap at a Time and I'm back today with another YouTube scrapbook process video. Today I'm working with Christine Meyer. Um, we're doing a Stealing Saturday series and I am lifting that layout that you saw of hers. But I'm doing it um, a little bit different um, on, a, on a smaller scale. I was a little bit intimidated um, by the large string art butterflies. I've never done the string art before. This is my first attempt so I wanted to do it on a small scale. So I found this cut file from Just Next Studios, the To The Moon, and I thought the stars in this cut file would be just adorable with some string art over them. So um, what I was using there, you saw me with uh, my paper piercer. So I made the holes for my needle around the edges of all of those stars. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking a string of floss, a single strand, and I double it. And that way um, when I thread, thread it through my needle, I have a loop on one end. And so the loop part, um, I don't, I can't do knots. So when I sew, this is what I do too. Um, I, I don't have to knot it, I don't have to fix it with washi tape. You go through the hole and back through the other side and through the loop and, and it won't come out. Um, so it's a fabulous way to um, sew things without having to do a knot um, or washi tape if you're using paper. So I'm just um, stringing my um, floss across the opening of this star. And then when I was done, when I was satisfied with it, I did um, some stitching around the outline as well. So you'll be able to see that in the close-ups better. Um, I, I think Christine said in um, for the layout that she made that it took her an hour to do those butterflies. Well, it took me about two hours to do these stars. So um, it, uh, twice as long. Um, hers look awesome too. Mine you can tell a first timer did it. <laughs> so, but I love how it looks. Um, I definitely want to try this again. Um, it just turned out fabulous. I'm happy with, really happy with the way that this turned out. So once I was done with all of the stitching, um, I am going to piece together um, my die cut. And so what I did is um, I trimmed my photo to be the same size as the heart that's dangling from the moon there. Um, and then um, the to the moon part I cut out of the brown pattern paper. But to give it, make it little pop better, um, I'm using a distress marker in brown just to go around the edges. And I found that the marker um, gets in the nooks and crannies a lot easier than if I were to use a sponge dauber. So once I am done using the marker on the edges, I'm going to glue these down to my die cut. So the photo that I'm scrapping today is of my nephew Harper. Um, this is this was a hospital picture that was taken um, probably the same day that he was born. Uh, he is such a cutie. Uh, we just adore him. He's so funny. Um, he's actually um, going to be five this year. Amazing. So um, now that I have everything pieced together on my die cut, I wanted to do something special with my background. So I'm going to create a cloud distress ink background. So I have this stencil from my favorite things that I'm using. And I normally use this for cards, but I thought um, because the moon will cover half my background um, that this is still going to work and it'll turn out cool. So with the Distress Ink and a felt applicator, I'm just turning the stencil from side to side so I get variations in my clouds and um, moving it up the page. So um, now that um, my die cut's on top, it really does look like clouds there. So on the right side of Christine's layout, she had some pattern paper and borders and stuff. 
So that's what I'm doing now. I'm punching a lace border uh, just from some white cardstock with my Martha Stewart eyelet punch and um, taking some pattern paper from the Simple Stories Oh Baby collection and lining it up on this on the right side here um, just like Christine did but on, on a smaller scale again um, not taking up so much space so that I don't cover up my clouds so I'm going to um, recycle some chipboard on the back of my die cut and then put some foam tape down so that my um, moon will have some dimension. It'll pop up off of my layout. I think it'll help the stitching show up a little better too. Um, with the white floss um, that I used um, because I thought it wouldn't show um, my mistakes so much with the white. So before I adhered my moon to my background I want to spread some ink on here. So I'm using some um, Tattered Angels, I think that was, in a blue and just um, dripping some um, ink onto my background to create some splatters. So I'm trying to um, figure out just where I want my, my die cut and have everything be straight on here. Um, and I, then it's, it's time to have some fun and I thought I would also use the negative space stars from my digital cut file and put those on the background. So this again is um, in a way mimicking Christine's layout. She had butterflies scattered on her background. I'm doing stars on mine. Alright, so now the fun part of embellishing comes in and I'm going to look through my um, cardstock, stickers, and die cuts, um, ephemera pieces from the Old Baby collection and see what I want to use on here. So um, I really like that bow at the top of the moon there where the um, photo is dangling from. That was really cute. So I'm just going to go through and quickly pull out some things I think I want to use. So that hot air balloon with the bear in it is totally adorable and I really love that. And um, the bunny is cute but um, Harper's a boy and so I thought the bear might work better for a boy plus there's a bear in the balloon. So I do swap the bunny out and put the bear there instead. Um, it's just playing around and seeing um, where I want to put some things possibly. So I thought I needed something in that upper left hand part of my layout. I thought it was kind of bare there. Um, so here you can see I went back and grabbed the, the teddy bear to put by my title. And playing around with the cloud um, ephemera piece and this um, balloon with the bear. Um, the Oh Baby collection has um, some clear stickers too and I did put some of the stars from the clear stickers on my background as well. So I'm going to put some um, foam tape behind my die cut cloud and that hot air balloon as well to give it some dimension and layer some stickers on top and I'm going to call my layout done. And I am thrilled with the way this turned out. Um, I hope you stop by Christine Myers' um, YouTube channel as well and check out what layout of mine that she lifted today. And if you aren't a subscriber of mine, I would love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Bye-bye now.